ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann. You clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 7th of May. We talk about extreme weather here. We might have some later this week, but right now the weather looks pretty good. Let's go to some Skycam shots at the insane hour of 5 o'clock this morning. From the uh, Daniel Building in downtown Birmingham, we're looking south with a clear sky, very pleasant. Some spots in the upper 40s again. There's a look at downtown Jasper. Always a nice shot there from the top of the King Building up in Walker County. And from Tuscaloosa, we are looking off the uh, top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Well, you can see we've got some uh, interesting weather not too far away. Deep upper level low that's uh, kind of between uh, San Diego and Phoenix, producing convection over Texas and the Plain States this morning. And more convection is likely later today. Got a slight risk of severe weather all the way from the Rio Grande up to uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Includes Des Moines, Omaha, Wichita, Kansas City, Abilene. Uh, tomorrow, a slight risk for places like Dallas-Fort Worth, Tulsa, Little Rock, Memphis. Boy, Arkansas has had a rough year, haven't they? And so has uh, much of western Tennessee. And then on day three, Thursday, there is a slight risk over uh, almost all of north Alabama, north Georgia, and parts of South Carolina. And I certainly agree with that, as we could see some active storms Thursday. Uh, the rain for the next five days is valid through Saturday evening. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one-half to one inch here, and that sounds good. And again, the heaviest rain out there over the middle of the nation, around Kansas City. That's our bullseye. Uh, today at 1 o'clock, this is the uh, OZGFS at 500 millibars. There's the upper-level low down there just below Phoenix. We'll watch that. We'll have a beautiful day here, sunny with low 80s. Tomorrow, an upper-level trough moves into Texas. Still got ridging here again, uh, warm and dry, mid-80s likely tomorrow. And then Thursday, the thing lifts on through the Tennessee Valley. And uh, down below that, a surface low shows up near Memphis. And that certainly looks like it could be an active convective day. Instability, no problem there. The uh, surface base capes in excess of 1,500 in spots. And uh, we've even seen run some runs that show instability values higher than that, over 2,000 joules. And, boy, that's a little spooky. The helicity values are very high. That's the 0 to 3 kilometer helicity showing uh, values of, well, maxing out there over 500. Now, sometimes those things can be too strong and disrupt the updraft, but I, I, I don't know about that. The shortwave trough isn't all that intense, so uh, all of the parameters seem to be in place for severe weather on the synoptic scale. Mesoscale, we won't know that until we get into the thing. So all we can do is say a good chance of showers and storms Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. Those could be strong to severe. All modes of severe weather seem possible. And then Friday, that feature's gone. Looks like Friday will be a dry day. I think we can take out that slight chance of a shower. Now, Saturday, if you're planning an outdoor event, and many people are, the weather looks uh, pretty decent here. Again, that front is lifting north as a warm front, and that might trigger a shower somewhere. We've mentioned widely scattered showers in the forecast, but I just don't think rain's going to be a big problem on Saturday. But Sunday, sharp trough to the north, and uh, here comes another uh, shower and thunderstorm round. And again, I wouldn't be shocked if we saw some severe storms with that deal, even though the surface low is a tad north. So we'll be watching for the chance of severe weather on Sunday. And then Monday of next week, that's gone, and we go dry. We'll go trolling four days later. This is the 16th, a big uh, vortex developing over the nation's heartland. That's suggesting wet and potentially stormy weather. And at the end of the cycle, big ridge out. Look at that ridge over uh, California and the Pacific uh, pumping up into Canada. And then we're kind of in a uh, uh, trough over the eastern half of the country. And at that point, that looks relatively dry. But again, we've seen different solutions out there, and it's hard to pick one that would be best right now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.